You're watching 8-Bit Days a Week, and I'm going to be playing another arcade game. And this is another game with a twin on it. This is Twin Cobra. And I do think this is still a vertical shoot em up. Now I'm beginning to think maybe I'm misremembering things. Maybe this is the one that came out for the Mega Drive and not Twin Eagle. Even the music sounds like it's made for the Mega Drive there. Anyway, as always, there is a two-player option here for simultaneous play. It's a huge bonus if you're able to play two players. Um, I am not sure if if it's by game design, how it, if it's how it really was back in the day, or it's a poor emulation thing, because I'm experiencing some uh, uh, choppiness to the scrolling right now. I'm not sure if it translates well on the video, if you can actually see it. But yeah, there is some choppiness to the scrolling. And if you can look past that, hey, it's still a great uh, vertical shoot em up. I think this is another late 80s shooter. I seem to think that uh, 80s uh, shooter, shoot em ups are usually a lot harder, but not by design, but because of. Uh, limitations so maybe the hardware before cannot support those like having a lot of bullets on screen at once okay at least this one you can con continue where you died And once again, I don't think this uh, came out for the PlayStation 1. I'm actually not sure where this came out other than on uh, the Mega Drive. So your chances of playing this is limited and good thing there is emulation. I might as well waste a bomb there. Wow, that is indeed a tank. Might as well. It's uh, abnormally high amounts of bombs that I had to use. I think this got released on the NES or Famicom. Anyway, I think that should be it for this video. Um, you were watching uh, Twin Cobra. And this is 8-Bit uh, Days a Week. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.
I'll try to play some more, just to be sure. Oh, this game gets really hard. <laughs> At least it's interesting though, it's kind of reminding me of 1940 uh, series now, 42, 43. Seriously, that's it for this video now, and uh, thanks for sticking by.